We are out here on City Walk at Universal to revisit one of my favorite places to eat out here. We are here to take on the cowfish. All right, come with me. I got you. Let's go do this. We just got our seat in the cowfish. We are headed to our table right now. I love this place. I did a review on it a little over a year ago, but this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna try to get a little something different tonight. Take you with me and uh, show you what we get. Oh, this way. All right. It is a little chilly when we're here tonight, but we are sitting outside on the covered and heated patio. So you get to enjoy the beautiful views of City Walk, and it is plenty warm, even though it is very chilly outside tonight. I'm ready to eat. <laughs> I love this place so much. Time to order. Okay, we just ordered. I ordered a tuna nacho appetizer. And uh, in the meantime, we're gonna take a little look around. The whole place has a cool vibe with some funky art, but by far my favorite is Fat Elvis. <laughs> like Fat Samurai Old Elvis. I really, really want this for my house. Cool stuff everywhere. But uh, Fat Elvis <laughs> eating the burgers is by far my favorite. The cow, the fish. <laughs> Cowfish. Uh, they have great burgers. I'm not doing a burger tonight. Like I said, we got the tuna appetizer. It's the tuna nachos. And along with that, we're gonna get a couple of sushi rolls, including my favorite here, Mark's roll. Hopefully there's something at the table waiting on us when I get back. <laughs> So one of my favorite beers to pair all the time with anytime I get sushi is Sapporo. It is a super fizzy, uh, like premium lager type beer. And I really like it. it like I love anything that's fizzy, fizzy beer. Uh, with sushi, I don't know what it is about the pairing of the two, but it is really, really good. That's what we're gonna have here. Unfortunately, the tuna nachos have not arrived. 
But we have the Mark's Roll and the Buffalo Chicken Burgerushi Sushi Roll coming. So lots to eat. Until then, cheers. The tuna nachos are on like crispy wonton strips, and it is obviously sushi grade tuna. I'm trying to break a piece off here. It's seared on the outside and seasoned and has a crab rangoon dip to hold the sushi to the uh, chip, so to speak. That sushi is done perfectly. Just a little seasoned sear on both sides. That crab rangoon dip is so good, holding it on. A little bit of guacamole on the top. Squeeze a little lime juice on there. This is a 9.5 out of 10. I'm gonna eat it. I'll see you soon. Food is here, it looks great. As I told you, we got the Mark's Roll, which has spicy tuna, it's flash fried, it has Mark's sauce on there. The tuna is still raw on the inside, so the tuna's not fried, it's just flash fried, like on the outside. That is so good. It's weird because you can see. Mm -hmm. You can taste all of the flavors, but then it all blends together too. It's really, really good. This is the first time I've ever had the uh, buffalo chicken burgerushi, which is shredded chicken breast, buffalo style, with blue cheese, flash fried on the outside. Well, it tastes like a really good, like, buffalo chicken dip uh, inside of sushi. This is so good. We're getting two and we're sharing them. If you're really hungry, you could get one or two of these and then maybe a burger and share it if you want to try some different things. Last time we was here, I made a mistake and ordered way too much food. Well, they're trying a lot of food for you guys. Wow, wow, wow. So this is the jalapeno pepper showstopper burger. I got the Mark's roll, which is a uh, spicy tuna roll, and it's flash fried. It's got uh, spicy um, Japanese mayo and cream cheese. Over here, we have the cheeseburger sushi, which is like a cheeseburger sushi. And then finally, the, the high-class hillbilly, which is a barbecue sushi. Um, we're in a wee bit of trouble here. We might have ordered too much stuff to try, but... I'm going to give, give it my best shot. First, I'm just going to take a big bite of this burger. There's so much to eat in here. There's so much to get to. It's ridiculous. So, you see that? It's spicy, but it's good. A lot of flavor of the meat is perfect. Now, we have almost no time to delay here because there is a mountain of food. So, I'm not even bothering with the chopsticks. I'm going right in for the Mark's Roll. Take a big bite of that. good it has some kick to it if you like spicy definitely is spicy it has cream cheese and jalapeno to go along with the spicy mayo on top and it, uh, cheeseburger ushi is basically just a cheeseburger repackaged as sushi 
But it's cooked. It's fully cooked. It tastes like a good cheeseburger. It's crispy on the outside. It just has the rice in there to help roll it up like sushi. It's got pickles. It's so good. It's got pickles and ketchup and mustard. It's just like a cheeseburger. It's like if you've had a cheeseburger pizza, it's along those lines, but it's sushi. It's really good. One more thing is this is the barbecue. This is the high rolling hillbilly over here. <laughs> barbecue pulled pork, barbecue sauce, scallions, onions. Let's give it a try. <laughs> this is a lot of food. same thing. It's just like a different way to eat barbecue. It's got potato in there, kind of holding it all together with the pork and the, the barbecue sauce. And I mean, it's really good. They're just, just a new take. Those two things are kind of like a new fusion take. Just a different way to eat a cheeseburger or to eat a barbecue sandwich. But everything is really good. There's a whole lot of food, so I'm going to get to eating and We'll see if I survive this. This time we're going at it a little more, but with a little more strategy and gonna enjoy it and not have to roll our asses out of here. But right now, I'm gonna eat and I'll catch back up with you later. was so good I always love cowfish and I really do recommend the burgers here too but all the sushi is so good you can come back so many times try so many different things and it's never the same and uh, next time I'm gonna have to try one of those spiked milkshakes too but I really hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe it really does help out the channel I appreciate it so much and uh, until next time, this is Chase with American Vintage Adventures saying have a great ABA day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>